Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHex.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Megatron. And this decal set includes two decal sheets on vinyl backing. Now, this video is going to be a toy hacksing video, meaning you're going to watch me apply the decals to the figure in order to change up his look. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Megatron, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Okay, now before we get started, I'll go over the tools that I'm going to use for this application. I think I'm only going to need these right here. These are my angled fine tip tweezers. They come to a real fine point too. I use these to do the eye decals and those other little tiny decals that Toy Hacks gives us. Plus, I also have my straight tweezers and I use this for the cap right here. I use this to press the decals in place. Now we'll start off with Megatron in tank mode because it looks like that's where most of the decals are going to go. I've got the decal sheets here. This one, that decal, that's Megatron's chest decal. I'm not going to need that right now. So we're going to stick with this one right here. And right here along the top, all these panels go along the side of Megatron's tank mode. It looks like we may have some options here maybe not sure i've got the screen up with the sticker map right over here uh real quick we'll look at megatron's tank mode it's not bad i like this little core class megatron lots of sculpted details especially here for the tank treads the turret it's actually pretty cool i like how they utilize a little mini megatron pistol right there back of the tank leaves lots to be desired. I don't understand why Hasbro has yet to figure out what to do with Megatron's feet in tank mode. So anyway, there's Megatron's tank mode before. Let's go ahead and get started. And we'll start here at the end right there. Let's see if I can keep this all in frame for you. So it looks like this is the first decal we're going to take off. Bend the sheet slightly so you get that edge right there. That way you can get your tweezers in and get that out. You want to pull nice and slow. You want to make sure you don't tear the decal. That's going to go right here. Just line it up carefully and then press it into place. So there's one. Now it looks like we have a plain decal next. Let's go with this one here. It looks like these are all sized the same. Sometimes you really have to watch out for that. Some decals, they'll look the same, but there's a slight variation that sometimes you really don't notice until you go to apply. Now this one, this one's stuck. There we go. That popped right off. But had a little bit of catch there so that always makes me paranoid i don't mind too bad if i tear a foil decal but i hate if i tear a vinyl they're a lot harder to match up let's see there we go two panels looks like the third one is also a plain one Make sure we got four. Okay, three more to go. Double check. Do the bend, do the grab. Make sure to get that off. Okay, 
That one's that one's stuck. There we go. These are a little iffy. I love Toy Hacks' vinyl decals, but sometimes they can be a pain. I'm trying to get this in camera for you. They can be a pain to take off the sheet. Okay. So there we go. Coming along nicely. Now we've got the one. We've got Walther P38. So P38 is going to be next. Seems thicker up here than right there. It's weird. Let's angle it like this this time. P38. Of course, everybody should know what that's referencing. If not, man, sorry. Okay, there's that one. And lastly, the Walther. And we've got options right here. Just now notice this. So you can replace one of the plain decals with one with a Decepticon logo. And actually, I think I'm going to do that. Let's do this middle one here. See if I can find an edge. I do this all the time. I always catch that option. There we go. Found an edge. Peel that off. Put that back. Always put it back like I'm going to use it again, but I never do. Now let's get the one with the Decepticon insignia. I love to make sure that my bots have their proper faction logo I always use the logo option so there we go yeah I like that better so now we get the decal with the Walther on it which is right there like I said it's just not cut it doesn't seem cut really good right there but it still pulls off now we line this one up press it down and there we go so that side is done there is no decal right here so now let me go ahead and get this side completed I'll edit that I'll edit this you don't need to watch the whole thing over again for this side okay now that side is complete so there you go both sides now have that cool armor plating this side of course has the Walther P38 this side just has the Decepticon logo so next up is the front of the tank and it looks like we're just applying some these grids right here. Maybe those are supposed to be lights. Let's go ahead and get this one off. And let's see where it goes. Right here. Line that up right there along the edge of the bottom. And press it into place. There's one. And the other. This is such a challenge to do on camera. All right, so there we have the front of the tank. And it looks like our next decals are going to be these taillights right here. Let me click over to that image, make sure I get them in the right spot. 
Okay. So. Looks like it goes right here inside the foot. Right here. All the way near the edge. There's one. Get this one out. All these other decals are coming out a lot easier than the panels. And two. All right, so there Megatron has brake lights, armor plating, and front pieces. Still not sure if those are supposed to be lights or not. And I think that's it for tank mode. Let me double check. Yep, that's it. That's all the tank gets. The panels, the front lights, and the tail lights. So now let's go ahead and get Megatron transformed into robot mode. All right, here is Megatron in robot mode, and he's got a lot more color in this mode than he did in the tank mode. He's got red eyes, the purple Decepticon insignia, red there for the outside of the torso, red rectangle there, two blue circles, and some black and yellow. So a lot more colors to really pop on in robot mode. So let's see, what's our first decals we're gonna add are shoulder decals. Let's see, it's these tiny ones right here. These ones look L-shaped. I gotta figure out which one goes where. So you got that L shape that's actually gonna fit right here. So let's see. Well, best way to do it, just go ahead and pull off one, and see how it fits. It's got a thicker end on top. which put it down so you can see and goes right there and lines up perfectly so a little bit of shoulder decal there or sho shoulder detail excuse me line that up a little better there we go so now we'll get the other one The small details, or the small decals, I don't mind applying at all. It's the real big ones, because you can screw those up so much easier. So we've got these little shoulder decals. Let's see what's next. Looks like he's getting a lot of decals for the legs. We're gonna start with the front of the leg. You've got decals that are gonna go right there below the knees. And that's these tiny ones right here. You can usually move these around in place fairly easy. But once you apply that pressure and that heat, from your thumb, mixes with the adhesive, it kind of sticks a lot better. Now I think I've mentioned before when I'm done with him, he's gonna go in front of a heater for a while to warm him up so I can really make those decals stick. Of course, having these pointy tweezers helps too. So if you're going to invest in toy hacks, definitely invest in a set of pointy tweezers. So now I've got these also on the front of his foot. Looks like he's going to have decals right there in the middle. Those are silver decals. Let's see. Right here. These little silver rectangles. going to go right here on the foot. The 
back end of the tweezers works pretty good for making sure you get those things on there good. So there's one. And where is it? There, there. there it is. Alright, I think that's it for the front of the leg. So now we're going to apply decals here on the inside. It looks like the plastic's warped right here on mine. So I gotta make sure exactly where that decal's gonna go. I don't want it to go on that warp section. Looks like it's going right here. See that little indentation there? That's where it's gonna go. And it's this orange, weird orange decal right here. Let's see. It's this one. sure exactly what that's supposed to be. Throw back to G1, I guess. That is a perfect fit. That's one of the things that amazes me with toy hacks is how they cut these decals to fit these indentations and sculpted details that these figures has. It's just, it's awesome. I, I love their process. I'd love to see, I'd love to see like a video or how they design these decals from concept to finish. I think it would be really cool. But I understand why they don't have anything like that. You don't want to give away your trade secrets. So, we got those two on. Now it looks like we only have two decals left. And those are also going inside the leg right here. And that, sorry, in this indentation right there and it's these blue and yellow ones it looks like the yellow goes near or towards the front of the leg rather come here come here okay that's gonna go right there uh oh the issue sometimes with the tiny ones is they don't want to come off go so really apply some pressure on that one so it doesn't go anywhere get this last one and we are done with the main sticker sheet So we got shoulder decals and leg decals. Now the main decal for this robot mode is, I guess, an option if you uh, want. It's a G1 inspired, uh, what they call it, the hairy chest look for Megatron. So you can replace the smooth look here with this more G1 look. And what I like about this, this is raised ink, the squiggles are raised. Let me see if uh, you guys can hear this. Can you hear it? So that is raised. Let me see exactly how that's supposed to go. I think it's like this. And yep, because it's got the two edges right there along the top. I want to make sure I have, I don't want to put it on upside down. So let's go ahead and peel this. Like I said, it's these long ones sometimes give me a fit. So I usually grab right in the middle and we'll kind of keep this in camera while looking over the camera. Make sure I get this applied straight. And also make sure I put the decal, or I have the edge right here on the figure so the decal's not touching. And that way it helps me really line this up. Maybe. I think we'll have to give a little bit more edge here. All right, so there we go. Megatron's new 
hairy chest because he is a manly man. And of course, he has to have a Decepticon insignia. We've got two right here. We'll go ahead and put that there in the middle of his chest. Line it up. Get it centered. And there you go. There is the newly decaled Core Class Megatron. He's got the G1 inspired chest, the shoulders down here on the legs, some extra added decals. I dig it. I, I love this look. Of course, I'm an old school G1er, and I just, I always appreciate that. So there you go, guys. There is me toy hacksing the War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Megatron. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members. It's your support that helps this channel grow. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!